shell collecting probably started with the cowrie. It's it's renowned as the probably the the best known, most collected shell group in the world. Uh, globally right now, there are about uh, 250 species of cowries, give or take. Historically, there's over 1,500 species described through, through time. There are some species about as big as a, a grain of rice, and then there are other species that can be almost a foot in, in size. But cowries are, are gastropods. They're snails. The animal envelops the whole shell when it's out and about moving around. In thinking about uh, cowries as uh, items that collectors target. Their nature's gems, no two are ever the same, and they have a market value. I think the, the um, highest value ever paid for a single shell was about 50,000 euros, is probably because they're so unique. It's a, it's a natural masterpiece. Well, I've been on expeditions where when we are collecting, conceptually, we could wipe out an entire population. This one cowrie species that I was looking for is a tularai, and it's a, a very rare species. Over collecting had a big impact on its population. This is the tularai. This is the species here that is potentially extinct. The situation with tularai is very personal to me. It, it forces me to um, to confront, you know, the impacts we have on our planet, and to to take a, a, a an active role in how we address conservation, um, but it is the responsibility of, of, uh, of research and science to let people know that this is a threat and vulnerable population that is completely unique. Um, this, if it disappears, it's gone.